So the AESC IDEA Award was established in 2020 to support the goal of the AESC Diversity Pledge. It's now been signed by more than 100 CEOs of leading executive search and leadership consulting firms. The award recognises initiatives within the executive search and leadership consulting profession that demonstrates an exemplary commitment to inclusion, diversity, equity and access. These initiatives must be sufficient significance and external impact to be recognised as excellence by the profession. Now I'm proud to present this award today um, to David Evans, managing partner of Watermark Search International, for his commitment to inclusion, diversity, equity and access. Over his career in executive search and leadership consulting, David has remained steadfast in his dedication to the principles of IDEA. David has developed and released the annual Watermark Search International Board Diversity Index, which has been published for 10 years now. And you can actually see the QR code this time, so, so grab that. It reports on progress towards diversity and inclusion on the boards of ASX 300 listed companies and inspires both reflection and action by Australia's corporate boards. This report is the only comprehensive analysis of Australia boards that measures diversity well beyond the conventional dimensions of gender. It puts five types of diversity in the ASX 300 under the microscope, including gender, cultural background, skills experience, age tender, te sorry, tenure, and independence. And for the last two years as well, the report has also included First Nation, LGBTQ, disability, and socioeconomic backgrounds as well. By examining more types of diversity each year, it encourages boards and organizations to embrace diversity in all its types and to include all people. The Board Diversity Index has sparked conversation and promotes meaningful change. The impact of David's efforts is deep in the market, said the Chair of Australia Standards. What sets the Watermark Board Diversity Index apart is its breadth of data, which enables David and his team to offer analysis of the current state of diversity in corporate Australia, said the Chairman of Football Australia. Football's big in Australia, so that's an important one. Now, David, please join me on stage, and I'd love to present you with the IDEA Award. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks everyone for sticking around for the afternoon shift. Hopefully you're all suitably caffeinated, but um, thank you, Sarah, and I'm grateful for everyone at the AESC for championing our industry. And I'm proud to accept this award on behalf of the great team we have at Watermark Search International. We're committed to advocating for talented people who have traditionally been overlooked for leadership because we know this advocacy can be life-changing. We've seen greater diversity of thinking drive better outcomes for more people and better results for businesses. So we want more leaders to join us and embrace inclusivity, diversity, equity, and accessibility. More importantly, we want leaders to prove it through their executive appointments. Each year, the Watermark Board Diversity Index gives detailed proof of how far ASX 300 boards have come or otherwise. I wish I could say we've seen incredible progress on diversity in the 10 years we've published our report. Some boards have achieved greater gender equality. Many haven't. In other measures, culture, age, skills, independence, LGBTQ+, people who identify as having a disability, the progress we've seen is tiny, if any at all. By highlighting diversity gaps on boards, we're sparking more conversations in the media and with our clients every year. We're now finding more clients understand the benefits of diversity, and they're more willing to think outside their comfort zones for executive appointments. 
Chairs of boards seem resistant to change. Yes, it takes a brave chair to recruit a diverse candidate and then ensure they're included. Some chairs think diversity is hard. Wait till they get to inclusivity. We need to make it easier for chairs to drive change. And our research into board diversity can help. So I encourage you all to use the board, in, board diversity index to spark conversations with your clients and with chairs of boards specifically. First, use our insights to help leaders consider ways of achieving better representation. Would they make inclusivity, diversity, equity and accessibility key measures in their succession plans? What if they look beyond traditional networks and into different talent pools? Senior executives who identify highly skilled people who they can appoint to bring new skills, experience, ideas, social accountability. Or if they only want to appoint people with board experience, they could consider directors driving better outcomes on government, not-for-profit or private company boards. We can all, always use our research to raise awareness among stakeholders about the benefits of diverse thinking for boards and businesses and why a truly representative board has a chairperson who encourages the sharing of diverse perspectives and then actively includes these viewpoints in their decision making. Proactively recruiting diverse talent is a key to business success. So let's help more leaders have these conversations. Please check out the report, download it, and I invite you all to take it from here. Thank you.